Okay, as you can see from the painter's tape everywhere, uh, the gripper claw assembly is <laughs> somewhat together. I've really, really, really had to uh, take this bread pan and pretty much cut it down to nothing uh, on the bottom half so that the claw part will fit in there and the top part to allow for the pivot of the top of the uh, actuator. Uh, what's in there right now is a high tech, uh, I think, it, what is it, HS645 MG, Metal Gears. And uh, that particular guy has 133 ounces of torque. The arm and assembly weighs about 7 ounces. And uh, let me show you what it can do here. If we can uh, open it up. Uh, I got the uh, claw set up to use. And uh, let's bring that a little bit closer. So it, uh, it certainly looks pretty cool. And... Uh, Boy, that's not pretty. <laughs> but, you know, we got a little bit of play with everything, but overall, uh, that's starting to work pretty well. And, uh, mounted up above, I got the uh, Dimension Engineering Motor Controller. Took a little while to figure out uh, how to get the default position the way I wanted. Uh, the first time, uh, it extended the actuator while I was inside the body, so it basically. Uh, <laughs> unstrapped itself from the servo. Uh, a real fine mess, but that's kind of the way it goes with these things. But as you can see, the actuator is 12 volt, has its own limit switches. Uh, I can go back and forth with it. And uh, the claw has some pretty good potential here too. And uh, I'm just using the landing gear one to uh, pull it back up. The only little snap who I have so far is this is the one door on this particular set of skins that won't open far enough. And uh, i got to figure out a way with that. There's always something. But anyway, that's where we're at.